Hey guys, so thought I'd do a little walk and talk, or in this case, electric bike and talk, around the yard before the hurricane. So it's about 1.30 on Thursday, and the storm is expected to hit here in about five hours. So I'm pretty worried about these big old oak trees over here. huge oak trees. It's one of the reasons we bought this property like 27 years ago. We really like these old trees. Now, I've put a lot of work into the house this year. We put a new metal roof on. That thing is bolted down tight. So much better than shingles. So I'm glad we got that in place. Got it all painted. It's, everything's pretty tight not gonna leak uh, should hold up of course we get you know depends on how bad it gets and it's not too bad yeah we got some gust we've had some rain but nothing nothing to worry about so far I don't think these trees will come down they've already lost a lot of their leaves got this car parked out in the middle of the yard so no trees can fall on it and basically, we're all set. We've got the generators, gas, fuel, food, water, everything's ready to go. <clears throat> now the wind is coming out of the south because of the rotation. So this is south, so it's coming right this direction. So I'm worried about these big trees on this side of the house. If they fall, they will crush this side of the house. So we'll sleep probably over here tonight, just in case. The worst of it should be over by midnight, I think, unless it stalls out. Still got a few things to pick up. I still got to landscape all this, but it's almost done. So over here, I went up and cleaned out all the gutters. You know, could get a lot of rain. I expect we could lose this screen today. It would suck, but the shop is locked down. It is good to go. Everything's secure, got the tractors in there with grapple, everything's set to go. I moved the camper and the truck out to the middle of the yard. You know, in case any trees fall, it will be in the clear. Now these panels, if you saw the installation of these panels, you know I've got 27,000 pounds of concrete holding these down. So it'll take 130 mile an hour wind, I don't think they'll blow away. But if the trees fall, then they're going to be toast. So hopefully that won't happen. There's a big tree right there that could take out the chicken coop. Uh, I really hope that doesn't happen. I haven't even finished it yet. Huh? <clears throat> now, I'm going to finish it, guys. I know I keep saying that. And it's only been like three or four years, all right? But hopefully, uh, I think in a couple of months, I'll be able to jump in there and put the doors in, screen it, the ladder, the roost bars, finish it all up. Let me get some chickens. I got the generator all hooked up, full of gas, wired in, ready to crank up at a moment's notice. Let's see, the garage is all set. I got this um, Predator generator I just got. I'll probably do a review on this at some point. It's a nice one, 7,000 continuous running watts. It's an inverter clean power we'll bust it out at some point right. got some other goodies I gotta get going but for now we'll batten down the hatches let's see what else all right well in here we've got that's where we got food and water and stuff actually I burned up a lot of this stuff I gotta restock you know, look at all these empty jars. It's all empties now. So we'll be doing some canning and freeze drying over the winter and next year. Freezer stocked, ready to go. We can grill these burgers if we have to. I still got all this junk in here from my last video. I gotta get this refrigerator out of here. Opus is charged 100%. 
Now you guys know this is my main source of power. This is my DIY battery backed solar power system. It's got a 30 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery and it's 100%. So I've got a lot of the house running on the utility right now because I want to have my batteries close to 100% when the power goes out, which I'm sure it's going to. But this powers our house, uh, you know, almost all the time. So if we do lose the utility, we'll be just fine running off of this. Can't run everything, but like, eh, probably 80% of our house. Anyways, guys, it's the calm before the storm. I don't expect this to last, so hopefully it won't look too much different this time tomorrow. I'll see you on the other side.